Hey there, CRCOG family. So excited to be able to give you a devotional this morning, um, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about our author, um, the author. And in Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verse 2, it says that we look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand. Who doesn't love a great story? There are multi-billions of dollars spent every year on the entertainment industry. People who read books, people who watch videos, people who go to the movie theaters or stream them from their home. People absolutely love a good story. There's a lot of different elements involved. You've got the characters, the theme, the setting, the plot. All of these things are all wrapped together and, and they come together to make a great story. But the truth of the matter is, is that without a good author, none of those other things are going to fall into place. You've got good authors and you've got bad authors. And as far as good authors are concerned, once they get a couple of good books recognized, anything else they write, people are going to snatch it up because they know that that author is just so good at what they do. And so the scripture here delineating that Jesus Christ is an author, I think is very interesting to me because we're all living this life, right? And this life can be considered a story, a story that is being written every day is a new page in the book called You. And the thing about it is, is that we can either be the authors or Christ can. Because if we take the pen and we start writing, we get a watered-down version of the life that Jesus intends for us to be able to live. He said also in the scripture that he came that we can have life and have life abundantly. See, some of us, we've been writing our story for a long time, and we've become dissatisfied with the plot so far. We're looking at things in our life that, that we're displeased with. We're looking at things in our life that we feel like could be just a little bit better. And the problem is, is that we're writing the story. If we've taken the pen out of Christ's hand and we've started writing our own story, we're not going to be satisfied with the outcome. I don't know if this has ever happened to any of you guys, but I've read books before and just absolutely loved the story and, and fell in love with the characters and the setting and the theme and all of these different things. And then I found out that they were coming out with that same book in movie form. And I got all hyped up and excited and I said, I can't wait to go watch this. This is going to be so good. Then you get there, and they leave parts out. The character doesn't look like you imagined the character was going to look like. It, it, it just it completely branches off from what the original story was, right? And I remember leaving the theater disappointed and, and saying, man, the book was so much better. I'm sure some of you guys can identify with that. Now imagine Christ being the author of your life. He has this whole book adaptation of your life written out ready to go with ups and downs that the main character you are intended to encounter so that they can become the best at the end of their story. But if we take the pen and we start writing it, it's almost like we take it and we, we make the movie adaptation of what God intended our life to be like. And we leave out parts or we go to places or we do things that, that the main character was never supposed to do or go to. And we end up finding ourselves in difficult and painful situations because we tried to make the movie adaptation of the life that God intended for us. And we let ourselves down, we disappoint ourselves, and we come out of this situation thinking, how could this happen? How did I end up here? Well, listen, sometimes we write our stories that way. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more as devotion times go on. And the next time I tune in, I'm going to tune in with you talking about trying to be a backseat writer. But today I want you to think about who's writing your story. Are you in control? Do you have the pen? Or have you yielded control to Christ so that he can write the story the best way and the way it was intended? Let's pray. God, I thank you for today. I thank you for this opportunity that we have to just have a devotion, just sink into your word a little bit. I pray, God, that you would, you would help us to yield the pen back to you. Let you write our story. And we give you all the praise and the thanks. Bye.